It's October 2020. We're in Colorado at Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. So we pulled in pretty late on a Friday night. Always a risky thing to do at a national park when you don't have campground reservations, but thank God, look at what we are blessed with this evening. Can you yeah. just give me the rundown of hiking down into the canyon? So I yeah. understand there's no developed trails, mm -hmm. but there are some mm -hmm. trails. Yeah. So there are some, uh, they follow natural washes in the canyon rim. So they are, uh, we call them inner canyon scrambling routes because they follow uh, gullies that, uh, you know, have been formed uh, along the canyon rim. We have three here on the south rim and three on the north rim. They do require a permit to get. They are unmarked and unmaintained. So route finding is of the utmost importance for gotcha. yourself. Uh, you have to find your way down and find your way back up. Uh, just know that it is pretty steep, requiring scrambling, so using all fours to lower yourself over some pretty steep sections, as well as pull yourself back on up. Distance and uh, vertical change, what are we looking depends at? Depends on what you're looking, yeah, depends on the route. So on the uh, south room, we, we call the least strenuous of our strenuous routes is the Gunnison route. That's about a mile and a half down, 1,800 vertical feet. Uh, we also have one back at Tamichi Point, a little east of here. Uh, that one is a mile down, but 1,900 vertical feet. Gotcha. And then lastly, nice. at the end of our scenic drive, we have the warm point route which descends over three and a half miles 2700 vertical feet. wow so it's it's short distance wise mileage wise but it, yes, is, but it is steep, steep. so like down into the canyon or not like down into the canyon or not hmm. that is one deep canyon and tomorrow we're going to try to get to the bottom give you just a quick rundown of the supplies before we head out. We have our map, wilderness permit, sunglasses, cell phone, although coverage will probably be rather spotty, water bottles, plus more water inside the backpack, hat, headlamp. This is just precautionary in case I get lost in the canyon. In addition to the sweatshirt I'll bring along. Three cameras, one that's working right now, two, GoPro number three, sunscreen, camera tripod, Hiking poles, there's lunch, bring a couple of protein bars, snack food, and the backpack. We should be set to go. So for this hike, we're looking at 1,800 vertical feet in the span of 1.5 miles. Nothing crazy, but definitely the steepest hike I've ever attempted in my life. You're gonna start on the established Oak Flat Trail. On the Oak Flat Trail, we can go, oops, and take the right, Send on a series of steep switchbacks to uh, this arrowhead sign that will be on your right. Another right. It does get pretty vertical at points or just slippery in terms of loose dirt and rock. And you'll be descending down these steep switchbacks for about a quarter of a mile. And then you'll hit an 80 foot chain. At the base of it, you'll get a little confused. You've got this boulder right here. This big boulder, you'll want to go left. And then below the boulder, where these people are standing, that is actually not the route. Um, and this is the bottom half of the route right here. Don't trust the boulder will be you know, stable for you when you put your foot down. There could be some loose rock down there. So yellow rock when you kick a rock. So I said this is a steep trail. Let me change that. It is a super steep trail. About 100 yards from the rim right now. And it is almost straight down. I couldn't imagine doing this without hiking poles. I just hope I'm on the right trail. Wow, that was steep. So right now I'm staying on the edge of a cliff. Uh, we got about a four foot drop. Get back on the trail. So I know these are not developed trails, but of the six undeveloped trails, I think I'm on one of the un undeveloped trails. I think I'm on the wrong trail. This is just way too intense and it does not match the description of the ranger. So we're going back up. And we're going to start over. So 
going back up on the rim right now and with this vantage point I can actually see the switchbacks right here that I need to hit. What I did was actually a shortcut that went through those switchbacks. So if I would have continued, theoretically, I'd have hit the main trail and I was really close. We'll just count that as a warm up. So this is kind of tricky. Don't make the mistake I did if you come out here. Don't come off the deck of the visitor center and go straight where everybody is going, which leads out to the main viewpoints. That seems like the obvious way to go. Rather get off the deck, make a sharp left. Then you'll see the sign, Oak Flat Loop Trail. Now we can look for our official trailhead. I need a permit to go down, but this is the trail we're doing to begin our descent into the inner canyon. And speaking of permits, they only issue 15 a day for this trail. And thankfully, when I came in last night, I got number 15. As I've mentioned repeatedly, this is an unmarked trail. There are no signs, there are no Karens, nothing. And if you look to your left, you'll see the beginning of the chain. We hit the chain right now, because that gets really steep. That's basically the only way down. I was told when you hit the chain section, you're about a third of the way done. Just when you thought you were done, there's a second set of changes as well. Let's say we're about uh, halfway done, maybe a little further than that. Let me give you a little update of the hike so far. Absolutely beautiful scenery. Um, it is nasty, it is steep. And as I mentioned, I'd highly recommend hiking poles. I couldn't imagine doing this without it. And I started off with two and we are down to one hiking pole now. I almost took a nasty spill. I lost the hiking pole, but it definitely saved me um, a pretty bad fall. So we'll be using one hiking pole for the rest of this trip. And uh, boy, grab a bite to eat here pretty soon. Enjoy the beauty that's around me and keep making our way toward the river. attempt this hike I truly recommend you take it slow and you take it easy and I can also say that it's harder to go down than it is to go up maybe I use more energy going up but going down there's just no stability at all going up at least you have somewhere to place your foot and you're probably saying how do I know that because I'm still working my way down number one I passed a couple that affirmed that belief and also number two if you're watching the video, someone's had to run back up each time to retrieve the camera. I have never done a hike like this before, and I've never seen a canyon this steep before either. So this is the difficulty of these unmarked trails. Do I stay in the boulder field, or do I cut off to the left? Look for footprints, but there's no footprints on a boulder field. I'm going to try the left. Looks like there's some dirt, worn out dirt down there. That's an indication that people have traveled that way. Now that is a sound and a sight to behold. Woo! 
We made it. So a couple of closing comments. Uh, number one, the most difficult part of this trail is right after the chains. So if the chains are located at roughly 35%, maybe 40% to 80%, that is where you have the loose rocks and it's very, very, very steep. Very difficult there. Uh, second thought is this place gets a bad reputation for poison ivy. Maybe it's on the other trails. Personally, I didn't see any coming from the East Coast. That's probably the only plant that I recognize out here. And it really lightens up in the um, uh, fall seasons with the bright red. I didn't see any poison ivy at all. Three leaves, nothing. So that wasn't really an issue. Um, it is a challenging hike. So unless you're in decent shape, um, be prepared for the most difficult one and a half mile hike you've ever done in your entire life. But it's rewarding being here in the bottom virtually all by yourself. Uh, the canyon walls just shooting straight up on both sides. This narrow canyon here by the Gunnison River is absolutely spectacular. But now it's time to begin our ascent. I'm going to put the camera away and I'll sign off when I get to the top of the rim. Well, we are signing off right now from Black Canyon of the Gunnison, and I can attest, going up was a lot easier than going down. Uh, with that said, thanks so much for watching. Remember, there's always room for you on every National Park adventure. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do attempt this hike, I hope this video was helpful for you. Take care. Have a great day.